Good evening and welcome to the haunted house party. A party where you will be compelled to identify our mystery guest. Daunting, eh? Uh, well, no, I don't know what daunting means, but believe me, it will be. Our guest of honor has just arrived. See if you can guess who he is before... Well, just before. <laughs> Good evening, sir. May I take your coat? No, I may have to leave rather quickly. Certainly. Would you mind if I brought my horse in here with me? I don't want to valet him. Sir, it is a party. He doesn't eat much. I'll ask madame. Would you have a window I could look out of? You're standing next to one, sir. Of course. I could tell by the see-through glass. Quite perceptive. Which allows me to see the beautiful old North Church. The one with the unlit lanterns in the steeple? The same. By the way, who else is coming tonight? Just the French and the Spanish. What about the British? Oh, they won't be coming. Look, I might not be sure whether they're coming by land or by sea, but believe me, they will be coming. They will be coming. What makes you so sure? Oh, nothing. Just those two lit lanterns in the church's steeple. <gasps> two lanterns in the steeple! Gotta go! But why? The British are coming! The British are coming! Wait, wait, wait! Before you run off, let's see if our friends can tell us who, who you are! We revisit the clues. He has a horse at the ready, spies two lanterns in the old North Church, which tells him the British are coming by sea! Have you got it? The mysterious mystery guest is... I'm Paul Revere, and I really have to get going! Breaking news, you know! Bye! Yes, of course. Tell them that I said, ooh, and they should all tune in next time when you're all invited to the Haunted House Party. <laughs> and squirrels and squirrelettes, this is your most insane radio scrambling DJ, Jumpin' Johnny Jumble, or as we say here, Jumpin' Johnny Jumble Bum. That's because here at Scrambling Radio, we mix them and you fix them. Dig it? In other words, my name is really Jumpin' Johnny Jumble. And that's how it works. Deranged sounds and twisted words that'll have you unscrambling the letters we'll be flinging out at you. Let's start it off with the Puzzlers and their smash hit, The Creatine. The lady with the hairnet gives me my ugly tray. She dishes out the tater tots and then asks me to pay. The food is indigestible and it smells like poo. At the Fat Creatine, they serve such junk to you. The veggies taste like cardboard and the burgers smell like feet. In the fat creating there is nothing good to eat. Yeah, did you figure it out? That was the puzzlers singing cafeteria. Can you dig it? And now it's time for Captain Copter and the Traffic. Well, Johnny, we got a real mess out here on the 405 as a truckload of Slamo Schlammer tipped over tying up traffic for miles. While falling in the Slamo Schlammer can't hurt many people, they do create a particularly sticky problem if you try to drive through them. But cruising through Slamo Slammer might make for some tasty driving, especially if someone dumps a truckload of hot chocolate on top of the Slamo Schlammer. I mean, marshmallows. And that's it for traffic. This is Captain Copter with a warning. I can see you in your car, so don't pick your nose. Thanks, Captain Copter. Now it's time for a personal favorite of mine, the Goof Ups singing their slamming new number, Jihadi. It's hard for me to thank my brother and his stupid crowd are down in the basement playing music way too loud. I got a Jihadi pounding my brain, a Jihadi driving me Chahadi, I just can't see with this Chahadi. All right, those were the goof ups bouncing back with their smash new hit. Did you get it? Headache! Well, it looks like it's time to get out of the pool and dry off until tomorrow with yours truly. Jumping, jumping, me, bulge. That's Jumbo. <laughs> My 
My name's Verity. I bust bad guys. You want to help? Come on in. We got four suspects pinned down. Three of them are guilty. Listen to their stories and spot the mistakes. The ones that lie did the crime. Today is Valentine's Day. No, I ain't got no date. Instead, I'm interviewing the Stankowski brothers. Seems three of them held up a jewelry store yesterday. Remember, only one of these mugs is telling the truth. The other three are lying. First up, Muscles Stankowski. You're barking up the wrong tree, Verity. Yesterday I was down at the beach walking my dogs. I got me a husky and an Irish setter. We was gone all day. What do you think? Are they both canines? Let's move on to Knuckle Stankowski. Sad to say, but as far as Stankowski's go, he's the smartest of the bunch. I'm gonna sue for false arrest. Yesterday, I was out picking out flowers for my girlfriend on account of today being Valentine's Day. I picked out uh, azaleas and uh, influenzas and uh, chrysanthemums. Do they all sound like flowers to you? Hey, Verity, how come no one got you no flowers? That's a cheap shot. I should give him a bouquet of uppercuts to worry about, but I gotta question his kid brother, Elbows. Like I've been saying all along, I just got back from Texas. I went down there to check out that uh, Mount St. Helens volcano they got there. She's a beaut. A volcano in Texas. Hmm. Finally, there's Stan Senkowski, a.k.a. Stanley Deuces. He'd turn in his brother, maybe three of them, to save his own skin. There's been some kind of misunderstanding, Verity. I was down at the bank changing some dollars into yen. You see, I've been planning this trip to China. Chinese yen? Should we buy that? Well, each criminal all but confessed. Did you spot the mistakes? I picked out azaleas and influenzas and chrysanthemums. Knuckles doesn't have a green thumb, and influenzas aren't any kind of flower. I just got back from Texas. I went down there to check out that uh, Mount St. Helens volcano they got there. Sure, Texas has got a lot of things, but Mount St. Helens isn't one of them. That's because it's located in the state of Washington. I was changing some dollars into yen for my trip to China. Stanley's not going to China, he's going to jail. The yen is used as money in Japan, not China. I got two dogs, an Irish setter and a husky. This city might be going to the dogs, but Muscles knows what he's talking about. Irish setters and huskies are two types of dogs. Kind of cute fellas, actually. Come to think of it, Muscles isn't so bad looking either. Nothing to shave and some breath freshener can't cure.